Hello Youtubers! This is Tova and I have another project to share with you. I'm still in the gothic mood so this is just gonna be a, a quick show and tell what I, what you, what I would say but uh, because this is almost entirely plain on the inside because I made this journal for myself. Um, I have like a happiness journal uh, that's uh, that I did once when I was streaming I'll show you uh, it's very shabby shabby she kind of looking um, with the, the scrap lace bind because I love scrap lace binds but I made that because I wanted to journal about the happy parts in my life things that I uh, want to remember um, that you know has been wholesome and beautiful and the thing is that I I don't always feel the need to journal when I'm in a good mood <laughs> um, uh, when when I do feel the need to journal is often when I'm depressed or uh, unhappy or sad or upset for any kind of reason so I decided to make like a, a sadness or yes yeah, sadness journal where I can journal about uh, the the dark pieces in my life when when I'm not feeling so good uh, because it's a it's sort of a therapy for me to to write things down then you can just like close the book and leave it behind you but I also wanted something beautiful to write these things in so I can actually like get in a better mood <laughs> from journaling and leaving my things my, my darkness behind me so to speak so and I'm I'm a goth girl on the inside uh, I'm also like a very light shabby chic happy girl but I'm also a goth girl and um, so I made it like very crazy gothic um, and I'm using the the red um, the, the little, little silk fabric that I've been using a lot this is um, thick lace that I added behind that just to frame. This gorgeous, gorgeous velvet fabric is uh, made of cotton. Um, and this, I've had this brooch, like cameo brooch in my stash forever. I've had it for like four years or something. And I finally found the perfect like project for this because I wanted it on the front, like where you can see it. And I framed it with the this like sequins trim because when, once I added it, I thought that it was a little bit small like compared to the frame. So I just framed it out with this black. And the book, the spine is very simple it's not soft cover i think a soft cover might have been better for this it's just like a cardboard like box that i used because i, I didn't really mean for this to be serious and i really needed to journal so and these ribbons are actually how I tied my signatures together. And I don't know if someone else has been doing this um, before. Uh, in that case, I'm sorry for saying this is my idea. I did came up, uh, come up with it myself, but uh, it's possible someone else has done it. But if uh, we go inside the book, I've already started uh, journaling. It, is sort of covered up anyways with um, like the pockets and all that but as you can see this ribbon is what's holding my uh, signature together and since it's two signatures there's these two ribbons coming out of these two holes in the back so if I untie the ribbons I can actually very easily take out my signature and add or remove papers however I like 
and then I can just do you see that the two holes there it's pretty dark from all the, the since it's all black but I don't know if that's yeah and then I can just tie it back together and my signature is uh, still there so um, but I haven't really added anything to the inside of the book besides from the laces uh, on almost every single page you know it's like every three pages has lace or scrap fabric on it because I just love the, uh, the lusciousness of this. I have some tags and things that I want to use later on that I just tucked in here. Some memorabilia and, and uh, that kind of thing. Um, but I haven't done anything to, to the book besides from that. Just added the laces, some of these charms here and uh, yeah, I really love touching this, <laughs> but it just reminds me of um, one of those very beautiful dresses with uh, like red accents and a lot of lace. And so and yeah, um, have eyelets to uh, to keep the the ribbon intact and I can tie it together and this is going to get really bulky as well I think it's already like this but this is what happens with this kind of binding I am planning to do a similar project with uh, like a slight curved spine um, similar to um, to the alchemy journal this one doesn't have any laces on it it's actually a bit more masculine it's quite masculine to be honest you could uh, I think a gentleman could use this uh, it's not you know very feminine in that in, in that sense so um, compared to this one I mean if you put them together this one is obviously very more a lot more feminine than this one so um yeah and the little key charm i had here it's just uh, tied into the ribbon so i can easily remove that and or add something else if i would like that i was thinking about like more of a chunky charm and then i added the the charms here in the laces instead because i could just sew them there and uh, I'm not really a huge fan of uh, jingling things that can get snatched on, on stuff. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's my uh, my dark journal <laughs> for my not so happy thoughts. But I love it. So um, yeah, I I I will enjoy journaling journaling in it. So hopefully I will get in a a better mood once I, I have to use it. Yeah, I'm gonna stop my jibber jabber and uh, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please take two seconds to uh, to push the button and um, I hope I'll see you again soon. Have a beautiful day. Bye!